Dr. Yolandra Hancock, a proud member of the American Heart Association, Greater Washington Region Board of Directors. I am thrilled about our Red Chair Series conversations, where we inspire and inform women to be strong advocates for their health and well-being and the health and well-being of women and girls in their lives. Dr. Culver, it is such a thrill to have you in the Red Chair today. Before we get into the conversation about the important topic of women and heart disease, tell me about yourself and your practice. I am a cardiologist in the community and I work for Johns Hopkins Heart Care and I see patients every day and we discuss their risk factors for heart disease and focus on the prevention of heart disease. Sounds to me like you're like a primary care provider who specializes in heart health. I do provide a lot of primary care as it relates to cardiology mm -hmm. because so much of cardiology has to do with high blood pressure, mm -hmm. high cholesterol, and diabetes. Talk to me about the experience of being a woman cardiologist and why that's so important when it comes to women's health. A lot of women patients feel that they relate to women cardiologists on a more impactful level. Mm -hmm. We really try to focus on their heart health and the unique factors mm -hmm that contribute to women and heart disease. I think people would be surprised to learn that more women die from heart attacks than men. But if you ask the average American, they would assume that heart attacks are a man's disease. Can you talk to us about that difference? It's clear that women, just as much as men, have heart attacks on an annual basis. Mm -hmm. I think there isn't enough time in a day in an average woman's life to think about their own health. What is the role for us as providers in helping women be able to connect better so that they know what their risk is? I think it's all about education and understanding the risks that promote heart disease because heart disease is a preventable condition. Right. And if you know your risk factors and focus on your risk factors with your physician, you can learn a lot about how to prevent heart disease. Can you talk to us a little bit about what those risk factors are? The risk factors for heart disease are traditional risk factors, including high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, family history of heart disease is very important. The good news is most of these risk factors can be addressed by diet, by exercise, by lifestyle changes, and they can be addressed with your physician with medications and medical management. Excellent. Now, as we are working towards inspiring and uh, educating women on advocating for themselves, what are the numbers that we as women need to know in terms of our heart health? I think it's very important to know what your blood pressure is. A normal blood pressure is 120 over 80. In this age of blood pressure monitoring, heart devices that can be purchased, it can be very easy to understand your numbers and keep track of your numbers and then review them with your doctor on an annual or semi-annual basis. The other numbers that are important are your cholesterol, particularly your LDL cholesterol should be 100 or lower. The other number to be aware of is your glucose. Diabetes is a very important contributor to heart disease in this country in particular. And so knowing your fasting blood glucose should be less than 100 is very important. And because I'm a pediatrician, I have to ask this question. What can moms do in terms of protecting their little girls as it relates to heart disease and maximizing their heart health? Certainly a low cholesterol diet and trying to make healthy food choices for our children is very important. It's a fine balance because kids are always gonna to wanna to eat chicken nuggets and french fries. But if you can introduce fruit and vegetables on a daily basis, even if they're still eating those chicken nuggets, mm -hmm. it will help. And again, keeping them active. Excellent, I so wish we had more time. Dr. Culver, you have provided such excellent insights. Thank you so much for your expertise and the work that you're doing to maximize our heart health. We have online tools and resources at the American Heart Association. All we have to do is go to www.goredforwomen.org to get more of these tools, all right? Thank you so much to Johns Hopkins Medicine for their support of our Red Chair series.